The Staircase Exposed, Netflix Fans Furious as Documentary Ignores Key Theory. The Netflix series documents the trial of Michael Peterson, who was judged to be guilty of murdering his wife Kathleen and served eight years in prison. On December 13, 2001, the 48-year-old woman was found unconscious by her husband in their Durham, North Carolina, home. She was found at the bottom of their staircase with the walls covered in blood, giving the title to director Jean Xavier de Lee Strade's work. And the recording of Michael's call to emergency services opens the series, capturing the loss the novelist suffered. Related articles O.J. Simpson confessed to me he killed ex-wife says prison pal the lost confession O.J. Simpson in bombshell interview set to be aired on TV Netflix real life horror movie Veronica is terrifying can you finish the trailer? Michael said his wife had fallen while drunk but state prosecutors suggested he bludgeoned her to death with a fireplace poker. During a two-year trial, they brought up his bisexual relationships while married to Kathleen and belittled his claims of serving for the U.S. military in the Vietnam War, drawing huge media attention. Medical examiner Dr. Deborah Radis suggested the large lacerations on Kathleen's skull were caused by a homicidal assault. His defense team, led by David Rudolph, used a forensics expert to testify the blood spatter evidence, suggesting an accidental fall. But the jury voted against Michael, sending him to Nash Correctional Institution on October 10, 2003. The series comes to a fascinating end with new episodes which show the defense's appeals and retrial hearing. Michael was finally released in 2017, using an Alford plea where a defendant admits guilt but asserts innocence to the voluntary manslaughter of Kathleen. He was sentenced to 86 months in prison but had already served 98.5, so was free to go. The Netflix series has received huge plaudits for covering Michael's case but fans have been left wanting in one aspect. A controversial theory emerged in 2009 that an owl attacked Kathleen outside, leading her to fall and knock her head on the stairs to die of blood loss. While this was only presented by local attorney T. Lawrence Pollard one of the Peterson's neighbors it sparked huge debate online. Because it was never introduced inside the courtroom, I decided not to talk about that theory Jean Xavier de Listrade but this is not addressed by the Netflix series. And fans of the staircase took to Twitter to express their disappointment. I'm actually beyond confused about this owl theory, one viewer said. Another added, the owl has remained suspiciously quiet. While a third made a suggestion for a follow-up series. I would absolutely watch the staircase too, the owl theory. Netflix make this happen, they said. But the director has since revealed why the owl theory did not make it into the final cut. Speaking to Vulture, Daily Strade said, the purpose of the film was to follow the legal process. If there would have been another trial, I'm sure that the owl theory would have been examined inside the courtroom. But because it was never introduced inside the courtroom, I decided not to talk about that theory. It's really a mystery, the way she died.